Hey folks, alright, so today we're going to castrate some piglets. These piglets are about three weeks old. Um, we like to definitely get them done under five weeks. Um, at five weeks is when we wean them. So around three weeks, they're small enough to where um, they're easy to manage as far as them like trying to get away. And uh, you're not having to wrestle them. And then they're also big enough to where you can kind of feel and see what's going on with their you know their anatomy um, a couple of the reasons that we do this on the farm is for one uh, a sexually mature boar that'd be a pig with testicles um, at, at the time that we take them to the processor they can develop what uh, folks would call like a taint um, just a bad taste with the meat uh, so that's one reason we want to uh, go ahead and castrate them the other reason is by the time we do take them to get processed, they are, they would be sexually uh, active, you know, and we don't want them uh, mating with their sisters in the pasture. So that's definitely um, something we, you know, try to avoid. Also just the boars could be a little bit more aggressive with, you, with each other and, and fighting and just overall, it's better just to get them castrated and then uh, nothing out of the ordinary, you know, will happen. We're not gonna have uh, boars fighting, our meat's going to be the best quality, and we're not going to have uh, pregnant uh, sows or gilts out there, rather. So to begin, we uh, we always use a fresh uh, scalpel, and those you can get from the, the feed store. They're relatively cheap and expensive. Um, and we only really need like three things here. We spray the pigs down with iodine first, and that just kind of cleans them. And then after we make the incisions, and I'll go through that a little bit more in depth, and then we'll see it uh, here on the video. Um, so we'll clean them with the iodine, just spray it down, and you can spray the scalpel in between pigs also. Uh, once we're done with the day, I do throw the scalpel away. Um, and it's just these, these kind of cheap ones. They're little throwaway ones with the, the cover. Uh, so we make the incision, we take the testicles out, and then we spray them. There's probably a bunch of these at the feed store. This one's called Heal XL. Uh, it's a non-antibiotic. There's no steroids in it. It's just for wounds and skin irritation. So this helps them heal up. If we do everything correctly, we do it all right, there's gonna be very minimal bleeding. Um, so this is just, you know, it's a preventative measure, but they'll heal within a few days and be just fine. And this, these actually, these particular pigs, they're going to be going uh, about four or five days to new homes. So this will give them plenty of time to heal up and uh, move on with their little lives. So the first thing we're going to do is on the pig itself, there's a seam. And you have to make two incisions, one on either side of that seam. So after making those two incisions, uh, you'll there'll be multiple layers we'll have to cut through and the white sack will come out and you'll actually make an incision on that sack and the testicle will pop out of that. We, uh, and there's, you know, there's kind of like two different sides to this. Some people will cut it off, uh, but we actually just pull it. They're young enough that it just, it pulls right out uh, and everything else just kind of gets sucked back in. Um, and then you're left with, with two holes. Two holes and they shouldn't be bleeding. There should be a little bit of blood, but they shouldn't be, you know, obviously gushing. Um, and then we spray it with our, our wound cleaner and, and send them on their way and we put them back and, and within a couple days they're fine. You'd obviously want to check on them, you know, throughout the next few days, but other than that, they're going to be fine. And a little disclaimer here, uh, none of us are vets, you know, none of us have gone to school for this, uh, but out of the, you know, some 30 to 40 pigs that we've done, we've never had an issue. Uh, this is the best way that we've found it, how to do it and it's the most effective way. So, you know, take everything we say with a grain of salt. This is just kind of an educational video, but I hope you enjoy and I hope you learn something. And if you have any questions or maybe some tips, put them down there in the comments and uh, we'll check that out. All right, thanks guys. Cut. Okay, so do, when we do start, we'll use a, a fresh scalpel. Um, and these are really inexpensive at your local feed store. We're going to be starting and uh, spraying them down with this iodine spray. 
that just knocks off any you know dirt or bacteria that's on the skin before we cut them open and always have a helper helping you out and he's holding his his feet down to where it kind of gives you a good angle for um, the testicles they kind of squish out here so there's a seam that goes down the center of them we're going to make two incisions bring um, the testicle out and then we'll we'll cut the sack open and cut it out from there okay so i'll push those down and again there's a seam down the middle i'm gonna make one incision two incisions And there's a few layers here you have to work through. So there's another layer right there, and now it'll pop out. And you can just cut this sack open, and the testicle comes out. And then you can pull that out or uh, some folks will cut it also. So then the second one. And then there's this layer here. And then that should squish out. You can see that layer is stuck here a little bit. So that will squish out. And then cut that open. And to finish these guys off, like that little hangy thing I want to get rid of. It didn't come off quite as well as we liked it. And then I'll use this, uh, another, just, you know, a product you get from your feed store. It's um, a non-antibiotic uh, wound care spray.
So just like the last one, we're going to kind of push them down, spray them down with that iodine. And if he decides to go number two, that's okay. Just let him relax. We'll move this guy. There we go. Nice and relaxed. So on either side of that seam, we'll make our two incisions. And there's quite a few layers <clears throat> to go through here. And that was actually one of the issues we had starting out was not realizing how deep you'd have to go. Um, you can see there's a layer there that I'm like kind of peeling back. And I want to go through just enough to where the sack comes out. And then I'll try to hurry and do this before we get too dirty here. Okay, so then the other side. And you can see when you, when this is done correctly like this, there's not, there's a little bit of bleeding, but there's not a ton of bleeding. Some of the issues, some of the issues we had in the past was we didn't know how deep to go. And I'll show you here in a second once I get this out. We were actually cutting this whole sack off. Um, we thought that was deep enough, but you actually have to go into this. And then the scrotum comes, or the actual testicle comes out of that. So the actual testicle comes out of that. We were actually cutting that whole, um, like, scrotum out, or the, the bag out, and it would cause intense bleeding. Um, but as you can see, there's, it's very minimal bleeding. And then these guys, you know, even with that size of a hole with this spray, they'll um, heal up in a couple of days and, and be just fine. Okay, so that went really well. We did um, eight all together. Out of that litter, is just a ton of males. Um, out of nine, there was eight males, which is crazy. Uh, it's usually a little bit closer to 50-50, but um, everyone's doing good. They're in the barn behind me. Um, they've got fresh water, uh, fresh food, and we'll just, you know, like I said, we'll look after them uh, for the next few days and make sure everyone's doing good. Within a couple hours, any kind of bleeding should stop. You know, they will have some dripping down their legs a little bit, but um, not that bad. And again, if you have any comments or maybe uh, some helpful tips, put them down there in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed.